Welcome back, business professionals. DeArthur Turner the Fourth, Data Productions Media, where dreams are tangible aspirations. I have another jam-packed Facebook advertising video for you today. We're gonna go over some 2020 Facebook advertising statistics and some things you should think about when you're spending your money on the platform. So without further ado, let's get to the whiteboard. Okay, so here's the 2020 Facebook stats that you should be thinking about when spending advertisement dollars on the platform this year. So number one, 10% of users live in the US or Canada. You may think that's you know a very small portion, which it is, but 48% of the advertisement revenue comes from the United States and Canada alone. So even though there are, we only have about 10% of users, the market share in regards to ad revenue is almost 50%. So if you are an international advertiser, the US and Canada and North America are still viable options because we love spending money. Number two, 74% of users are high income earners on the Facebook advertisement platform. High income earners equals about $75,000 per year. And then when you compare that to LinkedIn, only 49% of LinkedIn users are considered high income earners. So Facebook still has a lot of buying power on the platform. So if you guys have, if you guys are selling a higher priced product or service, Facebook advertising is still very valuable. Number three, the highest traffic occurs midday on Wednesday and Thursday. So in the middle of the week is where the highest traffic is. Hump day, people don't really wanna to work too much, so that's why they're on their phones. And the best times to post during these days are 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And those are the best times. For me, for my posts, for my clients, I usually like to post around one o'clock. So for 94% of ad revenue comes from our mobile devices. Everybody's on their phone all the time, all day, which means only 6% comes from desktop only users. You know, people still you get on Facebook via their desktop but not really as much anymore. That's more for the older generation that doesn't use a smartphone, but almost everybody in 2020 has a smartphone and that's why you see 94% of ad revenue comes from mobile devices. Number five, the average price for ads decreased 6% in 2019, which is great to hear. Ads are starting to decrease even more, which is means it's cheaper to have your ads served to your audience. And even though, you know, Facebook ads are becoming more competitive, it's good to know that even with that competition, you can still get advertisement spend at a pretty cheap price. Again, Facebook ads are the cheapest type of advertisement out there, bar none, hands down, nothing comes close. Number six, the average cost per click for an ad on Facebook is $1.72. Now, a click means somebody clicks on your advertisement to learn more about the information or take an action on your advertisement. So, on average, for all industries, is about $1.72. And if that click turns into a sale, and if you have high margins, look, you won't, you won't care that you had to spend $1.72 for that click. Now, the lowest cost per click is the apparel industry. That's about 45 cents per click. Obviously, for apparel, it's more high volume, so that's why you see such a low cost per click. The highest cost per click on the platform is gonna be the finance and insurance industry, which is about $3.77 per click. Obviously, it's a lot higher because it takes more advertising dollars to get somebody to spend on something within that industry, finance, insurance, obviously these are high ticket items. So it's not gonna matter if you're converting people and it's costing you $3.77 uh, 
per click. It makes sense for that industry, okay? You wouldn't pay $3.77 for selling t-shirts. That doesn't make sense. But for the finance and insurance industry, it does. So these are the average uh, cost per clicks. They have other industries as well. Go online to learn more. Okay, number seven, I'm gonna keep harping on this. I'm gonna continue to keep pounding this in your head. Mobile friendly video equals higher engagement. Video, video, video. Only about 11% of content on Facebook is video. So this is the time now to jump in on the video wave and do it while nobody else is doing it. It equals higher engagement, which means more ROI in the end. Mobile friendly video. Number eight, users watch 85% of videos without sound. Okay, people on Facebook like watching videos without sound, most likely because they're at work, they're on a bus, they're doing something where they can't have the sound on all the time. So that's why captions are very important. You gotta have captions so people can read while they watch. And it, for more advanced, it makes sense for you to have a catchy intro with captions as well. If your catchy intro introduces your product or service into the video with captions, that's gonna be a hook that uh, you need for your ads. So that's very important and keep that in mind. And number nine, the last one, which kind of goes with number seven with mobile friendly videos, is square videos get 35% more views than landscape videos. Square videos has a size of 1080 by 1080, and landscape is your normal rectangular video, you know, 1080 by uh, uh, 1092. So square video is the word, way to go. I only really use square videos for uh, my clients. Um, I optimize my videos for mobile with square and, and, and things like that. And it costs you 7.5% less for engagement when you use square videos. So try to stray away from landscape videos if you can. Obviously video is better than no video, but if you can make it in a square video, it's mobile friendly and you can get your, uh, and you can get your message across, that's what you wanna do. Okay, business professionals, hopefully you found value out of this very quick video today. Nine stats that you should keep in mind when you're marketing and advertising on the Facebook platform. As always, if you have any questions, just hit me a message in the DMs, I'll get back to you. If you would like to learn more and possibly work with me, again, hit my messages and I'll get back to you. As always, you have a good rest of your day. I'll be back next week with some more value-packed information and you have a good one.